What's up guys, Milm here with another Xcode tutorial. This Xcode tutorial is on image views again and how we can um, drag them around the screen rather than using buttons. If you haven't seen my UI image view tutorials, the first one can be found here. Um, I've got an example of what we're going to be doing today. Uh, so here's our old project, like before. Um, but now I can drag this image around and like before, if I hit the other image, it collides and I can still reset it and it will still work. So that's what we're going to be making. Um, just a quick note, I think you can use other images other than PNGs, but I think PNGs or ping images work best. Um, but you know, that's just a thing. <laughs> so I'm going to open up our image view project here. And uh, we can delete these actions here for the up, down, left, right, because we don't need them anymore. So save that. And then we can also delete them out of the .m as well because we don't need that anymore. Um, and for some reason it has one tool near that, don't know why. <laughs> um, okay, um, now we're going to create our movement of the image to make it move around the screen. Um, so to do that we need to have, we need to call a method that's already in Xcode called touches began and touches moved. Now touches began means if they touch the screen, do something. And then touches moved means if they move their finger, do something. Um, so touches began can be used if you want them to tap somewhere and the image will appear there. And then touches moved will be if you want them to drag somewhere and the image will appear where they drag. Um, so you can play around with them, use different ones for different things. Um, so, But we're going to use both of them today. Um, so the first one is going to be touches began. So in here, create a void. And call that, well, touches, start typing it and it should auto-complete. Um, touches and we type began and there it is and open that up now in here we're going to create an instance of UI touch and we're going to call that the touch oops like that um, and then that's going to equal the event which is called here uh, so that's going to equal the event all touches so that means where it's touched on the screen so every single touch it recognizes and that's going to be any object uh, close square bracket semicolon. Now we're going to create a location point. So CG point, and that's going to be called location. And this is going to be the location of the touch on the screen. So touch location. Lo I can't spell today. Locate. No, location like that. <laughs> location in view uh, colon, and that's going to be the touch dot view um, and that basically means create a point on the screen called location and that is the location of where the person's just touched so that's basically where they touch on the screen and now we're going to make the image go to where they touch on the screen um, so that can be uh, that's really simple it's just image or the image you named dot center so the center of the image god I definitely can't spell today center like that uh, space equals space and that's going to be the location we just made there um, so that basically means put the image where they just touched now we're going to create the void moved one so that's if they tap then now we're going to create the one if they move their finger or drag so void touches and then this time it's going to be moved and it should look exactly the same but just with moved instead and instead of copying out all this code again, we're just going to go self, uh, self, and then do this method up here. So that's going to be touches began, and then in here it's going to be touches, and here's going to be event. And close square brackets semicolon. Um, so that's all the code we need. I uh, hope I explained that well. If not, leave me a comment in the description. I'll try and explain it to you there. Um, now we need to go into the viewcontroller.nib, not to do anything, just to delete these buttons here, because we don't need them. So we can delete them. Uh, you can move the images around if you want. I'm going to move mine a bit further down the screen. Uh, save that. So we go back into our touches began, and uh, in here we're just going to go self uh, if collided. Uh, and that basically checks for this method that we made down here, which is the collision, uh, and that way it should collide. Uh, so sorry about that guys, forgot that. Um, so if we go back into the simulator here, and now if we collide, and as you can see, it still works. If I click OK, nothing happens, and I can still reset it, and drag, reset, reset.
the drag, reset. So there you go guys, there's a tutorial on how to make the an image draggable. Uh, now next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make this image up here, oops, uh, randomly move around so they have to dodge the image kind of thing. So look out for that tutorial, uh, link should appear here. Uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and see you in my other tutorials.